Let's start on the cross. Grow the game and treat it well. You're naughty. I'm the dude, man. What's up, guys? I'm Mikey Powell, filling in for Tom Ledine. He's going to talk about Powell lacrosse in a minute. First, I'm going to take the ball to X. I'm going to come topside. Am I going this way? Nope, I'm going to roll back and go this way. Nope, I'm going to head toward the alley. I'm going to come back. I'm going to dive across the crease on the back side and poke it in topside. Boom! Look at my head fakes. You can't track this. You don't know which way I'm going. You better watch the hips, sucker. Sorry. Before we get started talking about the gear, check the description below this video. Expand it if you have to. There's a link there that will take you to the PAL website and the member sign up. I would highly recommend doing that as you, just by signing up, they give you 100 PAL points. PAL points are, uh, one point is 10 cents. So 100 PAL points is worth 10 bucks. You get, for every dollar you spend, you get a PAL point. If you, when you sign up and you got 100, you know, you buy a $20 t-shirt, now it's 10 bucks. Free shipping because you're a member. You can't beat that. Also, if you use my link, I get referral points. I think 20 points. Um, and if enough people do that, that'll add up and I will be able to get, you know, discounted stuff and do giveaways. So use my link, give me a couple referral points and I will give back to you guys in the form of giveaways. Powell Lacrosse, that is their logo when they started posting things on Instagram. This is the first thing I noticed, being a graphic designer, being an illustrator, doing a lot of logos. This is the dream logo. Doing logos is really difficult. Most companies want everything in there. They want to tell their whole story in a logo. I want this, this, and it becomes, it becomes a t-shirt design, basically. Simplicity is key, but when you can get simplicity and tell a story, you win. You win the logo game. So, first thing I noticed is the owl eye. Um, Powell, p owl, clever, but it's also a stick, lacrosse stick with a ball. It's also a P, you know, and that simple. Two colors. It also works as one color. Uh, three elements. That's 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 money. They absolutely. Whoever their designer was, I would like to shake his hand because that's the way you do a logo. I got an email about three weeks ago from Mike Powell, you know, no big deal. Mike Powell emailing me. Actually, the cool part was, as we've been Powell fans forever. Um, we got this bobblehead, I think 2008. It's been on my kid's shelf since then. Both boys have one. I did some design work for a company that was doing Bill Day's instructional DVDs. I did something for the box and they sent me a box of uh, Canon stuff, which was cool, Mikey Powell stuff. Uh, a few autographs and everything. And so, when I got the email from, from Mike, I was like, boys, come in here. And I read him the email, and my cool factor skyrocketed because the first thing he said is, love your videos, love your channel. My favorite video is the Speech Jammer video, which if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's really kind of embarrassing, um, but it's Mike Powell's favorite, so check it out. You know, Mike Powell's a fan of mine, so. Yeah, you know, I'm not real starstruck. I'm not. We the lacrosse pros are very accessible. Um, in most parts of the country, California, a lot of them come here for work. They're either lacrosse sales reps or you know working in San Francisco. Whatever. They're they're all around. Every clinic has pros. Every club has a pro coaching. You know, all the travel teams are are run operated by former pros, former college standouts. So they're they're all around. But the pals are different. The pals are like the gates. They're on a different level. It was pretty exciting to get that email. And mostly exciting because I wanted to check out the gear. So they sent me uh, one, two, three, four shafts and a pioneer head. So let's get into it. This is the bloodline shaft with the pioneer head strung with uh, East Coast dyes hero mesh. The pioneer, it's a great looking head, just right out of the box. They've got embossed PAL logos, which I love the logo, one there, one there. Uh, I believe there's some on the little one there, little one over here, down on the throat, 
and then logo type here says Powell on each side. Just, uh, just awesome attention to detail throughout with that stuff. Great offset. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty deep offset. I like the face shape a lot. It's, it's stiff. I don't know that. Well, like I don't think youth lacrosse players would necessarily face off with this, but I'm sure higher levels could. But I also think youth lacrosse players could use this as a D head. You know, they're not throwing hard enough pokes and slaps to warp ahead. Um, you know, unless they're monsters. I think it, it'd be a great head for a, a two-way midi at the higher levels. You know, because you're going to do some damage. You're going to, but you're also going to be able to play some some offense with this and attackman definitely. I mean, this is. I think it's an all-around head, just about every position. Defenders at the younger level, it's stiff enough. It's absolutely a stiff enough head, but it's not overly stiff, and it's not a. It's definitely not a defensive head. Uh, but you know, if you're talking about different age levels and what they do with sticks, this will work for anyone on the field. Um, at the higher levels, absolutely an attackman, absolutely a midi. Um, really, like I said, two-a midi or D midi. I think it's it's fantastic. The I did a 10 diamond top string. Holes are, are perfectly spaced. I did a nine diamond at first. The top holes are, are awesome. I really like the size. I um, like the beveled edges. You know, everything about the top is good. The sidewall holes, there is a bunch of them. And they look, they look big from the outside, but they're a little small on the inside. So a couple of them where you double up, where you uh, tie off, tough to get it through, but not hard. I didn't have to use a tool. I just had to burn my ends and kind of make them a little pointier to get them through, but not a big deal. Easy head to string. I mean, the options are endless. I'm not a fan of this pocket I did. I just kind of, I don't even know the pattern. I I didn't use a pattern. I just kind of whipped through it. Just, I wanted to get it strong. My, my initial thought was that I was going to die it up. And when I got it, I'm like, there's no way. I got to set this thing up and get outside. It comes with a, um, <clears throat> a cool silver ball stop very similar to the Thompson I-6 ball stops, kind of mirrored on the backside. I haven't put it in yet because I was going to dye it, like I said, but I still may. We'll see. So that's the head. I, I love it. I think it's just a, a perfect blend between uh, simplicity, aesthetics, uh, functionality. You know, they, they've got it all in here. And I think it, it will really work well for like I said, just about any position. All right, guys, so the first shaft I am gonna talk about is the Bloodline. This is the one I have set up. Uh, I was going to use the Mighty Black, which is the composite, but my older son called dibs on it. What are you gonna do, right? Call dibs, guy code, you gotta respect the dibs. So I set up with the Bloodline, which I'm actually really happy with. I haven't gotten to play with it too much, but a little bit of wall ball, a little bit of catch. You know, so far, I'm in love. The Bloodline is a hybrid uh, scandium titanium material. I believe the Bloodline is a $120 shaft. It's got a nice uh, finish. It's like a matte, you know, a little bit of grain, a little bit of grip, but not much. Uh, perfect for me. I, I, I love the way it feels. Great looking stick too. I mean, just so clean. That is the Bloodline. Next, I will talk about the Mighty Black. The Mighty Black is uh, their composite shaft, like I said. I, I haven't looked at the other color options, but this one is so clean. A little bit of white on top, POW logo right under the throat. Um, gray with the POW logo, the little, the little red pupil or ball. Uh, and all the, the text, all the type is gray. It's just fantastic looking. Also, everyone, and all the shafts say up here under the screw, it's in the blood. So the head will go to about there, and then you got, it's in the blood. I think that's such a cool little catchphrase, you know, knowing that their family is, is you know, lacrosse royalty. It's absolutely in the blood. It's made, it made with a proprietary carbon fiber pattern. Um, a little bit of flex, you know, not a ton, but I think this would be a great face-off shaft. It's a very slick finish, so you could you know, you're gonna be able to move your hands quick to wherever you need, put your stopping points with tape wherever you need. Uh, I think you could tune this to be, to meet your personal face-off needs really well. I think this is a, a, 
a good option for that. The Mighty Black is a hundred bucks, I believe. Well worth it. All right, the next one is the 1805 Limited. It's a 7075 aircraft aluminum. You know, kind of a typical material, typical finish with a concave octagon profile, but really nice, light, good feeling shaft. I like this blue. I think it comes in a red, which I may have to pick up. You know, it's just a classic lacrosse handle. Um, no frills, really. These cost 70 bucks, which, great deal. 1805 Limited, which is pretty cool because it's the year Carthage, New York was founded. Obviously, Carthage is where the, the Powell boys are from. So that's kind of neat. You know, I like that they pay homage to their, their roots. You know, they're connected. They, um, they have not forgotten where they came from. And that's, that's cool. I mean, I would absolutely buy this. I would anyway, but if I were a kid from New York, from Carthage especially, you can, you can bet this is what I'd be playing with. All right, so the next one is the Flight 22. 22, why is that significant? Obviously, the Pals wore 22 at Syracuse. This is a this is a, an alloy shaft, a custom. I think it's what it says on here, seven U one alloy, which is something trademarked that they came up with. No flex because it is an alloy, but it's it's a great feeling shaft. It's light, and it it just feels. I mean, you know, however much you can feel without a head, but you know when you pick up a shaft and you're like, oh yeah, I think I like this. The Flight 22 is ninety five dollars. Very nice shaft. So uh, go check out powellacrosse.com. Check out their stuff online. Get your hands on it if you can. I, uh, I, I guarantee you're gonna like it. I'm super excited. The attention to detail and the quality is off the charts. And I think this, will, this company will be a mainstay in lacrosse for years to come. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do. All right guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I think I covered everything. Mike, is there anything you wanted to add? Mike's got nothing to add. Did I, did I cover everything? I think that's a yes. Up top. Up top, Mike. Oh, he left me hanging. Later. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you want to see more, click the video that's playing in the upper right of this screen. Uh, click subscribe, click like. Go check me out on Instagram, Red Star Lacks and be excellent to each other.